Would you believe me if I told you this little animation uses only three drawings? This technique will allow you to get the most out of your animations with the least amount of work. Let's get right to it. Tip tut. Hello everybody, welcome back to Tip Tut and welcome back to another Adobe Animate tutorial. Today we're taking a look at something which I call the bounce technique. This little animation here uses only three drawings and we use bouncing of the character to jump between those movements. This works really great for kind of story time animations or anything where characters are simple and cute looking um, without too much detail and you don't have too much time or budget perhaps to create full animations. So let's just jump right in. I have an example project here where you can see I just have three drawings, each of them on a keyframe, a man pointing, a man sort of like pleading with somebody going like, haha, you can trust me, and a drawing where he's like laughing and he's a little bit embarrassed, okay? And then back to the original pose. Now using the bounce technique, we're going to turn these four drawings into a nearly three second animation. So let's jump right to it. First thing I'm going to do is take my first pose here. I'm just going to grab all my other keyframes and just drag them over a bit. Now, let's say on frame nine, I want to start animating to my second pose, okay? So I'm gonna come over here and drag my second pose over to frame, say, 13. This is animating on threes, okay? And we're just going to move from this pose to this pose, but snapping straight to it isn't gonna to look too great. So what we're gonna do is kind of bounce into this pose. Now there's three keyframes we're gonna create, an anticipation keyframe, an overshoot keyframe, an easing keyframe, and then back into the second pose. So what we've got here is our anticipation keyframe with the first pose, our overshoot keyframe with the second pose. We're gonna create another keyframe after that, which is gonna be our easing, and then another keyframe, which is going to be back into the original position. So you can see here, we've just got these four keyframes. In the beginning keyframe, what we're going to do is bounce into the next position with an anticipation. So I'm gonna turn on my onion skin, and I'm gonna drag my drawings anchor point all the way down here to his bottom foot. And we're basically just gonna take these control handles, make them a little bit shorter and a little bit fatter, not too much, perhaps something like that, okay? Now, he's moving right in the next keyframe. So what we're actually gonna do here is just back him up a little bit, like so. And this is our first animate anticipation keyframe. On the next keyframe, we're gonna overshoot the pose as if he's bouncing through it with all that energy. So we're actually going to make him, instead of shorter and fatter, we're going to make him taller and thinner. But again, just by a little bit. And then we're going to skew him off so that he's overshooting that pose. On the next keyframe, so we have so far standard, anticipation, overshoot. This is going to be the easing keyframe. And because we haven't touched this, this is the original pose that he's going to settle back into. What this means is we can just take our anchor point down to the foot, the same foot as before. And for this one, we're just gonna tweak him just a little bit so that he's easing back into that original position, okay? So we have normal pose, excuse me, we have normal pose, anticipation pose, overshoot pose, easing pose, settling pose. Let's take a look. That looks pretty good, okay? Maybe he shouldn't be leaning too far back in this one. So maybe what we do is we actually just have him just coming down a bit. Let's see if that looks a bit nicer. Okay, that looks pretty simple, quite nice. Let's do it with the rest of these poses here. So you can see now that I have the um, second pose where he's in this please position, moving into the third pose where he's in this kind of embarrassed position. So what we have here is our anticipation frame because we're already on this keyframe. Anticipation, overshoot where it switches pose, ease back into position frame, original position frame. So let's take this one here, move down the anchor point to his right foot, like so. Make him just a little bit shorter and a little bit fatter. Maybe something like that. Let's have him move backwards because he's moving into this future pose. The next one is the overshoot. So we'll take this anchor point down here to his right foot again. A little bit taller, a little bit thinner. Skew him past his original position. Okay, now the easing one, we know what's happening here. Drag this anchor point down to the foot and just do a little bit of a stretch on him there. Skew him just past it so he's into that settling position on this one. Now let's take a look. Looks pretty good. Let's do the ever so final pose, which is back to the original pose here. So we'll give ourselves a bit of room and we'll make sure it finishes here so it's nice and neat. So what we have here is our final pose. So we'll make our anticipation, okay? 
then we have our overshoot, then we have our ease, and finally back into the original position. Drag those so it's at the right place. Bottom right foot. Anticipation is shorter and fatter, so we'll just take him shorter and fatter, like so. Okay. Now, what I've done here is accidentally a bit wrong. I need to make sure that this pose is in the right position. So the first um, anticipation frame is the first pose, and then the next frame after that, the overshoot, is the new pose. You need to make sure that that happens. So be careful on how you're copying your keyframes over. Otherwise, he'll move at the wrong point. He's, he'll move on the ease, and that just won't look snappy enough, essentially. So we're going to overshoot him here like this. Then we've got our easing position here like this. And again, this is just going to ease him back in just a little bit. You're not doing too much here into that original position. Let's turn on the loop so we can see what we're working with here. Voila. As you can see, quite a really simple, powerful technique, and it takes absolutely no time at all. Perfect for these simple story time kind of animations. So hope you like this one. I use this technique all the time when I want to save time. I actually recently used it in my lip syncing tutorial because I couldn't be bothered to animate the character properly. Great for time saving, great for small budgets, great for quick work. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all the other crap that YouTube makes me say, and I'll see you next time for another episode of TikTok. This channel would not be possible without the loving support of my level two members, such as maybe Sharma, Ian Costello, The Sorcia, and Lali Lululo X. You guys are lovely. If you're new, click that join button below for access to exclusive perks and benefits. for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.